OBS is going. So we should be good. Hopefully. Hopefully my audio is good. And all that jazz. I just think this would be fun. Hello, hello. No idea who you are, but... Um, let's copy this. I would have... Mm -hmm. Don't call me Will Sub, I'm busy. All right. Too many windows happening right now. All right, so I also wanted to open up voice chat if people wanted to hang out. So I'm going to provide the Discord link in the chat if you want to go to the voice channel in the Discord. Discord is totally safe. Discord is completely and totally safe. So, if you want to hang out in the Discord, the voice chat, if you feel comfortable with that, I will leave the Discord off of the stream so that your username isn't exposed or anything like that. Oh boy. Raisin Sandwich, this royalty-free stuff has some weird names.
Last time I live streamed and I played Vocaloid music really, really quietly in the background. Uh, YouTube's content ID totally caught it. Not like I make money or anything, but... It's a thing. Hello, Vivian! Just push the door open, honey. You can do it. There you go. Good girl. Vivian is still sometimes baffled by doors. Yeah, sometimes you don't understand doors, huh? Do you want me to take your harness off? You've been so docile with your harness on, I kind of like it. Seriously, some of this music has really weird names. Brrr, hello. I'm just gonna pull up some of my favorite Taobao shops. Uh, There's lots of new stuff coming out that, like, I really like, but at the same time, <sighs> my wardrobe's already overflowing with stuff. Brr, hello. I'll take your harness off. You've been a really good girl all afternoon. Talking to my cat, by the way. I don't have a... It's not a kinky situation, it's a cat harness. Oh, do you feel better? You can immediately start chewing on everything now that you're free. Do you feel like a new kitty? Hi. Oh my goodness. Hello. Hello, Muffin. Are you happy that you're freed from your torment? I took her outside today. I'm trying to get her harness trained. She was not happy. <laughs> She's not having it. She was very, very upset. She meowed and let me know it. Very mad. Very, very mad. I like looking at shoes. <laughs> shoes are fun. And Antina is one of the better places to look at shoes. Because they basically custom make everything. And they go up to pretty big sizes. Because there's a lot of shoes, shoe shops on Taobao. Shoe shops. Blah, 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 on Taobao, but most of them don't go all the way up to size 52 European. So, and Tyna will pretty much make a shoe in any size you could ever want, basically. So, I appreciate them. The one thing about browsing Taobao that's really frustrating to me is that when you click on a link, it opens a new window. It's very, very disorienting sometimes. Some of their shoes are really dumb looking. Like, this just looks like, oh, is it a cosplay shoe? 
Oh, that's why. Okay, it's a cosplay shoe, that's why. Their cosplay shoes sometimes look a little weird. <laughs> but I mean, if you want an accurate cosplay shoe, there you go. So you gotta close the window instead of just hitting the back button. Probably talking to myself. I also really like Antina because they divide their shoes up by um, heel height because I have to be really careful about the heels that I buy because of my back. So I pretty much stay down here in the flat and mid, essentially. But I'm pretty sure you can get almost any shoe in their store with any heel style you want. You just have to message them. Either there's an email address you can email them at, or you can uh, have your shopping service message them. Hi, Vivian. Cool. So I was looking at boots. I feel like there's a lot of boots that like I've seen on there their website before and I just I didn't see it so you can also go over here these aren't translating very fast uh, but I know what the centimeters say so but it's the same as over here oh my gosh why did you stop translating So I can, so 2.5 centimeters is basically no heel at all. Um, I think a 6.3 heel I can handle too. I don't think they're that high. So like for example, let's find one that's 6.3. These are 6.3. Eh, that may be a little high for me. Just cause of my back. But it's entirely possible that they would make this in a lower heel style you would just have to message and ask either through your shopping service or through the email that they have yeah this is 6.3 that's a little tall basically flat is my existence I want to sub at the middle school. They're demons. Truly, they are. I like kids, but I'm not kidding. Those kids at the middle school make me rethink how much I like kids. Okay, these are kind of amazing and tacky in their own way. I feel like I've seen way more boots on Antina before, so I don't know if they're being listed under regular shoes. So I have a couple in mind that like I was thinking about. Oh, these are, these are nice and basic. How basic and normy they are, but I kind of love them. They have like bright yellow stuff. Like some some of the shoes that Antina have on their Tabo site are like obnoxious. I kind of love them. Like what? I can't. Why? <gasps> oh my god. They don't do like very many cosplay shoes. They only have a few. Oh. These are in China? I thought Secret Shop made shoes that look like this. Well, that makes me feel better because I thought this, I think the Secret Shop ones are actually too small. So I got a pair of Secret Shop uh, tea parties today and I ordered them in a 42, which is usually perfectly fine in terms of size wise, but if my big toe were any longer, they would not fit. So, it's actually an unexpected tight squeeze. But I know Antina 42s have plenty of room. Because my favorite shoes are from Antina. Oh, those are ombre. Never seen them do that before. Looks like it's just the blue ones. 
I wonder if it's paint. Or if it's just the lighting. It might just be the lighting, actually. Their stock images are not the best in the world. For sure. These, so these shoes, these are Madoka cosplay shoes. Uh, don't ask me how or why I know that. Uh, but I know that. But these are literally, like, all over the internet in, like, every color imaginable. But these are Madoka... Magica cosplay shoes. <laughs> I kind of love them. I mean, you can get them in a lower heel, which is nice, because I think in the show, the heel is really high. But, like, these are all over eBay and stuff. Like, Antina shoes, you can find them outside of Taobao if you know their stock images and you know what their shoes look like. Um, did I do flat or did I do... Okay, these are their flat shoes. I wish the grommet were gold because that would just work better for my life. If the standard tea parties. These are the shoes that I have. I have them in red. Yeah, I have these. Um, these exact shoes. I love them. They are so comfortable. I want them in every color. And you can get the shoes in more colors than they just have listed here. Um, you just need to find their color chart, which is inconveniently not on their listings. So like these, it comes, these shoes come in a ton of colors. Um, I've never been able to find their color chart on their listings. I have always gotten their color chart off of uh, my Lolita dress, which is a Taobao reseller. So what they do is they have Taobao stuff in stock all the time. So you can just buy from them. Frequently I'll go to a reseller to like find the item that I want just because it's designed for English users. And then I'll figure out what the shop is, and then I'll go find it on Taobao. Because <laughs> resellers tend to um, upcharge me quite a bit. Which, if you're only getting a couple of things, or you're not doing a group order, like, that's fine. My Lolita dress is really slow, though. Like, of all the reseller sites, it is loads the slowest. Um, but if you just go to any of the Antina shoe listings, you can come down to the description to see the full color chart. So this is Antina's full color chart. I think that they've added more since then. So you can just ask, I guess. Um, but you can order a shoe in any of these styles. Um, if you have a specific color in mind. I had them make... I had to circle it. I think I have a pair of Antina shoes made in this brown right here. Coffee number three. Number one, number two, number three. Number three or number four. I have a pair of shoes made in one of these two colors, but they're high heels and I bought them before I realized that heels were gonna be a problem for my back. So I basically never wear them. But this is Antina's chart. Um, so Antina is here. You can directly order from Antina. They, I, I acquired their email address from somebody that has to direct order from them because she has very large feet, but they have lots of color options. I wish that they had a pink. I have a, I have a shoe that's a light glass pink and I wish it was the darker one. And I also wanted his matte, but. This pink looks very purple, so maybe it's fine. Vivian, the desk is not a place for you. You know that. Meow, the desk is not a place for you. It's never been a place for you. You just get up there when mommy's not paying attention. But I think they've added more colors to um since they came out with this chart, but I've never been able to find the chart on their Taobao website. They did email it to me when I ordered from them directly through email. They did email the color chart to me. So I know this is official. This is the one they emailed to me. 
But I just basically always look it up on my Lolita dress because I know where it is. They're, they only have glossy mint. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't really like patent leather glossy shoes. Um, but that's just me. It's my personal preference. So these are really nice shoes. They're very comfortable. Um, these just look like default tea parties to me. Yeah, having to have a low heel does kind of limit me a little bit. I mean, maybe platforms would be fine. I just feel like I'd fall on my face. <laughs> uh, 6.3, I decided was a little tall, didn't I? Maybe not for everybody. Might be too tall. Oh, these are cute. What color is this? Oh, that's not cute. I don't like that brown in that style. I'm sure somebody likes them, but that somebody is not me. So yeah, none of this stuff is translating, which is fun. Yeah, and Tyna is a really great Taobao shop for shoes. There are a couple of other good ones. Um, I may have to go to my spreadsheet where I archive stuff. But you can also just search Taobao. Um, sometimes if you search in English, you'll get stuff. Yeah, see, if you search in English, you can get some things. Like, I guarantee you 90% of this, of these shoes, don't come in a big enough size for me. These are decadent and wonderful. I bet they don't go up. Yeah, they stop at 40. Usually they stop at 39. So... Yeah, that's the downside. And Tyna really goes up. So, like, yeah, I have to have a 25.5 centimeter minimum so this would be too small for me and considering the number of alita that i know that and uh, this is also a body line stock image so these are probably people that bought body line shoes and are reselling them on taobao i just know what body line stock images look like I think this is that shop. Oh, like none of the images are loading. I think this is the one where you can basically customize them fully. Like, holy crap, what? What even is this? <laughs> it's tacky and horrible, and I kind of love it. But I didn't even look at the sizes. Yeah, 39. 39 is the maximum usually in most of the shoe stores that I have encountered. 39 is usually the maximum. Which is annoying, but you know, and Tyna, Tyna has nice shoes. They just... I just wish more places went into a higher size, but they don't. Um, so yeah, definitely find out what your shoe size is in centimeters and don't rely on American sizes because I can tell you for sure I've tried ordering on an American size basis before and totally messed up. So definitely measure your feet in centimeters. Yep. See 41. But if I come down to their size chart. A 41 is... might fit. It's 255. So it might fit. It's possible. I have a pair of 25.5s that fit. Um, so I have the Discord link in the chat if you want to hop in voice chat on my Discord. Um... 
and hang out, be chill, be, be awesome. These aren't bad. But again, that's really, that's really tight. It's, that's pushing it. But to be fair, I bought a 42 from Secret Shop and they are very clearly shorter than my Antina 42s. So sizing is not universal either in centimeters, but oh, well, these are nice. Also only go to 39. 39 seems to be the magic number. That's pretty much what I always see, is shoes that I like usually only go up to a 39. It's a great time. Oh no, these go up to 42. They aren't the best, but I like them. They're an interesting, unique shade of pink. I think they're pearlized. That's why they look like that. Uh, yeah, that says gold color. Uh, is the Chinese character for red the same in Japanese? I don't know. But this the second character there means color. In Japanese it's red idol, but I don't know what it's red in Chinese. So I can sort of muddle my way through. Because I know what some characters mean, even if I don't know how to read them. See, I love these shoes because so these these are secret shop stock images. So if you see a shoe that looks like a stock image that looks like this, then it's probably a secret shop shoe. Not all of secret shop shoes will go up to a 42. They only go up to 42 in some styles. So like I think this is another one where I actually looked at the size chart and a 40 is a 25.6. So I might be able to wear it because I can wear a 25.5 and a 26. So this might be big enough. So I remember looking at these shoes before because I really like the pearlized pink color. Because it's more of like a dusty pink, which um, I really like. These yellow ones, I don't know. I have this, I have a fascination with these yellow shoes. They would literally match nothing that I own. But, see, they're sold out in 40, though. So. Shoes are, like, something I really need to up my game on. Because I pretty much wear the same pair of shoes all the time. See, 40. But if we go down to their size chart, if they've got one. Oh, that's really pretty material, too. It's so like there are a lot of shops that make really nice shoes and really pretty material, but they just do not believe in making them in bigger sizes. I don't see a size chart, so I don't know if their 40 would be big enough because I don't see where it says what they are in centimeters, so I wouldn't want to risk it. Because reselling shoes is probably the hardest thing. Reselling shoes is very difficult. I know I've been trying to sell a pair of shoes for like two years and no, no go on them. Uh, oh, this one goes up to a 42. That's very purple. I feel about the frill trim though and that heel is pretty tall no thank you I really love this like this like I don't know this heel just makes me think of like a musical instrument I really really like them but basically any shoe that's got that heel style never comes in my size ever In English will get you some results on Taobao. I don't know if that's new. So I know people always complain that my, um, navigating Taobao was always tricky, but I have found recently it hasn't been that bad. There's some nice mint shoes. Like them, like them. Oh, I've seen these shoes on a couple resellers. I really like them. They're really cute. <laughs> I 
I would probably get the brown and my white ones. Just because the bottom of my quartet chocolate socks are brown, so this would just contrast better than the brown ones would. Brown on brown on brown. But I really like these shoes, and I think I looked at the size chart, and a 41 would be fine. Yeah. Oh, this is... Yeah, so... No. Yeah, 255. So 25.5. So I sh theoretically can wear these. Oh, my big toe, though. My big toe hates me. Because like I said, I have... I just got some secret shop tea parties that are listed as being 42s and they definitely are smaller than my antina 42s so that's slightly disappointing what color is that is that brown oh it's wine oh these are cute i did not miss that they don't go up to my size though i saw that <laughs> they stop at 40 just 25 centimeters that's too small And most of these places, like, won't upsize it for you because they'd have to make, like, a whole nother mold to make a size bigger. I'm also these around on eBay and stuff a lot because I do look at stuff on eBay and stuff because you can sometimes find the same stuff um, for cheaper shipping. It just takes longer to get. It's like I ordered a pair of Secret Shop shoes that I paid way less in shipping for them than I would have on like a reseller or from Taobao. But they also took a month to get to me, so. That's mildly annoying. But I find for shoes and bags and blouses even, Taobao is definitely a good option. Again, they don't have a size chart that tells you how many centimeters something is. That's annoying, but only a 40. It's crazy to me, like, oh God, <laughs> what are they? Victorian French, what does that even mean? Victorian French, that's not a thing. That's funny, I enjoy them. They are Oh my gosh, Lolita Uggs. <laughs> I love them. Taba has some fun stuff, man. I really enjoy just wasting time on Taba doing stuff. It's a good time. I don't understand these shoes that have like the chiffon ruffle on them. I feel like that would get really dirty and gross. These look a lot like a pair of body length shoes that's really popular. Good job. Uh, from the stock image, it's definitely a secret shop. Let's see. Oh, these are cute, but I bet they don't go up to... Yep, 39. There it is. <laughs> Always 39. <laughs> ah. And my feet aren't even really that big in, like, the grand scheme of things. Like, I know people have bigger feet than me, and I just... I can't even imagine shopping for Lolita shoes with big feet. So, like, my feet aren't even really... My feet are big-ish, but they're not, like, super big. Uh, are these secret shop? These might... No, that looks like Antina's logo. Oh, no, those are totally AP shoes. These might be stolen stock images. No, these are Secret Shop. So Secret Shop, 
Oh, uh, anything bigger than a 39? <laughs> I also have a Discord link in the chat if you want to get into voice chat and hang out. Because I think it would be fun to talk to people. Don't feel obligated to, of course. Um, yeah, these are Secret Shop. So it's been a rumor in the Lolita community for many years that Secret Shop shoes are manufactured in the same factory as, um, as AP shoes. They just don't have Angelic Pretty labeling on them, uh, but that they are made out of the same material. And Secret Shop doesn't actually have like a shop that you can buy from. You just have to kind of find them. That's why they're called Secret Shop. It's so like this particular store has these this particular pair of Secret Shop shoes. I just got these tea parties in a 42 and they barely fit. And they smell really bad, but I at least know that they fit so I can get them in mint and in pink. Because I like them. So let's see how many Secret Shop shoes this store has. Because these are not all Secret Shop. They have different labeling in them. These are AP replica shoes. Are these, are these Secret Shop? Yeah, I think these are Secret Shop too. Yeah, AP had shoes like this that came out that were really popular. So they get replicated a lot. I have a pair of Antinas version of these. Again, it's a little bit more of a heel than I realized I could handle. So I may phase them out with some flat heeled shoes. Oh, yeah, this one's up. They have Secret Shop. Is good. This is a Secret Shop stock image. Secret Shop's logo looks a lot like AP, but it says Secret Shop on it instead of Angelic Pretty. So these are also Secret Shop shoes. Oh, those are nice. I like pearlized material. They give an inch. They give an interesting look to shoes. I've seen a lot of these like loafer style ones too. Lately. Not sure how I feel about them. Well, these are kind of neat. Not for Lolita, but they're kind of neat. I'm literally just browsing. I search for Lolita shoes in English and I'm just browsing everything that's coming up. I was looking through Card Capture Sakura stuff once because I'm really into Card Capture Sakura. It's like my favorite thing. This is a bodyline stock image. So these may be bodyline purchase shoes that they're reselling. Because bodyline is really terrible at restocking their website, but I think there are people that buy it, buy them physically in store and then resell them. Oh, what? This is a body line stock image, but <laughs> that green is something else. I don't think they make that. I don't think they make that color in any other shoe. Yeah, these are body line shoes. Even says body line right there. Body line used to be the place where people always recommended getting shoes, but they have been terrible about restocking their website lately. I heard rumors that they're trying to, they're phasing out their online 
market, which is dumb. It's really stupid. <laughs> All the brands and stores that are bolstering their online and international presence are the ones that are doing well, so... I don't know why Bodyline's being dumb about it. See, there are those Madoka cosplay shoes again. They're ev they're everywhere. Madoka cosplay is really popular. Yeah, good luck. Um, <laughs> Bodyline never restocks anything. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys can see the link that I posted in the chat. I don't know how chats look like from your end, but. If you want to voice chat in my Discord, you can. I'm just hanging out by myself like a like a boring a boring unpopular nerd kid. I know. That's that's the downside. Like my feet are, like I was saying before, my feet aren't even that big. And I struggle to find shoes. Like I can't even imagine people who have bigger feet than me the struggle they have. Like, I was showing it on Tyna. If you go to any given shoe, so I have these shoes. And Tyna goes up to 52 centimeters. Like, this is crazy. And Tyna's, like, the only shoe shop on Taobao that goes that high. The only one. But, and Tyna hasn't really updated their materials in a while. So, like, they have really nice shoes. I just feel like I see lots of really, really nice ones that I can't wear. I like really like these boots. These are the boots I was looking for earlier and couldn't find and was like, where are they? So this particular one only goes up to 44. So some of the styles, they because of the way they're designed, they can't actually make them any bigger than a certain size. I guess I've heard from people. Um, but yeah, and Tyna tends to go a lot higher than basically any other shoe shop on Taobao. It's so like these go up to 44, which they don't have the measurements here, but does this have them or is this just the color chart? This is just the color chart. Oh no, it's got the size chart. So I usually order... Uh, anywhere from a 25.5 to a 25.7 or 26. So that's roughly a US nine and a half, 10, but only roughly. Cause sometimes I can wear a nine and a half in some shoes and sometimes I can wear a 10, but, um, I find that these numbers don't always match the seven, seven and a half in Britain sizes or a uh, Euro 41, 42. So things tend to be listed in Euro sizes, I, I guess. So I just know that I need a 41 or a 42. Um, depending on how the shoe is measured, I may be able to wear a 40 um, because sometimes it's bigger than a 25.4 because I can wear a 25.5. Um, I just have to be aware. Popcorn time, what is it? Popcorn time swing. This royalty-free music is so weird. But yeah, I really like these boots. Where did they go? Oh, this is another thing about browsing Tabo. I hate, I said this earlier, but um, it opens a new window and so you can quickly get overwhelmed. So it's really annoying. Uh, so those are the secret shop shoes. I also use Rakuten um, for some stuff. Um, there's a wig shop. Um, Bright Low Wigs is a really nice Japanese wig shop that's pretty budget friendly. Um, and Rakuten, you order and then they calculate shipping and then they send you a separate invoice for the shipping. So it can kind of be annoying. But I compared prices for basically the same items on Rakuten as on Brightlil's actual website, which is in Japanese, so you would need a shopping service. Um, and they're a little cheaper on Rakuten. And if you add in the shopping service fees and the double shipping that you would have to pay from ordering directly from them, it's cheaper just to get them on Rakuten. 
I'm thinking about um, if I ever come into a lot, a ton of money uh, to do a wig haul, just buy all the wigs. I will say I do have one bright little wig. I think I have this one maybe. I think I have this one. If, if it's not this one, it's in it's this style that I have. Um, it's really nice and it looks really realistic. Why did I close the window? It's because I thought I was on Taobao. Uh, Braille. Petticoats? Okay. I have a couple suggestions for petticoats depending on what you need and what climate you live in. Um... If you live in a hot place in the summer, you're gonna want a hoop skirt. Mm, underwearings. Now there are cheaper hoop skirts you can get on like AliExpress and eBay and stuff, and I'm sure they're fine, but I don't have any personal experience with them. Um, a bunch of my friends have this hoop skirt from Fan Plus Friend. Um, so in the summer, a hoop skirt is really nice because you don't have a whole bunch of fabric, like, cramming you up on your legs. So a bunch of my friends have this hoop skirt. Now, you can get this on Fan Plus Friends Taobao site, and it's a little bit cheaper, um, but if you just buy it from them, like, there's a bit of an upcharge on their English website. Um, but a lot of my friends have this hoop skirt. It's, re it's made out of really durable material. So like a lot of hoop skirts that you'll get on eBay and AliExpress will get the job done, but they're not made out of quite as durable of material. But that's something to keep in mind. A hoop skirt is really good. Now, in my personal opinion, I really like supporting local smaller businesses. I will say brand petticoats are garbage. It costs too much and they're not, their quality is not that much better than like a regular old petticoat that you would get. So don't waste your money on like an angelic pretty petticoat or anything like that. Bodyline petticoats are pretty garbage too. They deflate pretty fast. Me Likes Tea is really nice because you can fully customize. So Me Likes Tea is a, a lady that lives in Brazil. You can combine orders with Cotton Candy Feet, which is a Brazilian shoe company. I really like their shoes. Shipping can be kind of expensive, so um, I usually buy from them in group orders. Um, my favorite pair of bloomers is from Me Likes Tea too. She custom makes everything. Um, so you can go to her petticoat section. Oh, it's a brown cupcake. You can go to her petticoat section. And these are all the different petticoats that she offers. So a casual cupcake would be like a daily, um, a daily sort of uh, bell petticoat. So for mostly for sweet Lolita, sweet gothic, some classic, you just have to make sure you paid attention to the um, silhouette of your dress. So you don't want to cram an A-line. You don't want to put an A-line in a cupcake because it'll look weird and deflated. You don't want to cram a cupcake under an A-line. Um, but what's nice about hers, so she, the, the O means that this one's made out of organza. And the V means this one's made out of viol. So... Um, and these prices are in, Bra in um, Brazilian real. So you have to convert the price, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but I know for, I can tell you from experience that these are really, these are really well priced for being handmade items. Um, so let's say, and then these classy A-lines, this is going to be like your standard A-line petticoat. Um, so it doesn't have as much volume up at the top that a cupcake or a bell would have. The cotton candy petticoat is a bigger bell. So this would be for dresses that have a lot of skirt to fill out. Um, but they're not necessarily for everyday wear because there's a lot of material. So maybe good in the winter. Um, 
The hybrid poof monster is basically the bell-shaped version of her poof monster petty, which is an A-line. Um, so these are her poof monster, uh, but the hybrid poof monster is a cupcake bell shaped petty. So these are for dresses that have a ton of skirt. Um, a lot of APs, really OOT dresses, um, are very, very full. And can accommodate quite a bit of petticoat. Well, it's really nice. So if we pick, let's go into cotton candy and we'll do uh, organza because it's a little poofier and it's a little cheaper. You can customize the length that you want. Your petty should be between three and five centimeters shorter than your skirt. It doesn't have to be exact but it should not be as long as your skirt or else you run the risk of it showing. Um, so if you have dresses, so I would just measure a variety of your dresses and sort of take the average. Um, 40 to 45 is usually a standard length dress. If you wear dresses that are a little bit longer or you wear an underskirt, you may wanna go with something a little bit longer. I have a couple dresses that are on the longer side. Um, but so you can choose your length, you can choose the number, the layers of, of material that you want, and that affects the poofiness. So if you actually click this image down here, you can see that this is a 40 centimeter penny coat with five layers, but that this is a 45 centimeter penny coat with five layers. So it changes the shape. And this one is 55 with five layers and extra frills. So you can kind of get a feel. So let's say you just want a petty to wear over a hoop skirt because you should wear a petty over a hoop skirt or you're, you're, it's gonna be weird. And you just want a really light petticoat. You can just get like four, or if you want something that's real big, you can go all the way up to seven. Um, it just changed the price based on how many layers you pick. Um, and then if you want ruffles on it, you can or you can't it depends on how much you want to spend on it and then you can pick your color or you can request a color from her and then you can pick your waist range so she'll make petticoats up to 130 centimeters which is going to be really hard to find in like a stock off the rack petty um these are handmade and they have a drawstring on them in addition to elastic so they aren't as rough on your waist which is really nice because if once you have a lot of elastic around your waist it can get really stressful. So it's nice that she's got a drawstring in addition to elastic design. Um, so you can pick your centimeter range for your waist. And so I am right at the 100 centimeters. So then it'll calculate so that, oh, this is new. This is $69.89 USD, but this is also a very large petticoat. This is a five layer petticoat. So this is a lot <laughs> and it's handmade. So it's really nice. So this is what I would recommend. Me Likes Tea is really great. I think probably some of the best petticoats on the market. Um, Bunny House on Etsy. Etsy is their English speaking store. Uh, here we go. Bunny House also has really nice blouses. Um, they have a bell petticoat and an A-line. So they only have two, um, but they have a medium. So this is the medium, the large, and the super large. The medium is perfect for wearing over a hoop skirt. Um, my friend has the medium bunny house and she wears it over her hoop skirt and it is perfect for wearing over a hoop skirt. Um, I've heard that these can deflate, but I've also heard really good things. So it's just depending on you. They have theirs goes up to 110 centimeters in the waist, which isn't quite as big. These are also handmade rather than factory made. So you can pick your color. Um, your Well, you pick your poof, which is the medium, large, and super large. And then you pick your size, which is the L, XL, blah, 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 blah. And then you can pick a color. Um, but your color doesn't really matter if you think about it because nobody's going to see your petticoat. <laughs> so Bunny House has really good petticoats. Um, 
What else? What else? What else? Uh, classical puppets used to be really well known for their petticoats. So classical puppets is a Taobao brand. This is, I already know these shops, so I just Google for them. Um, Exquisite dream costume. Dude, some of the translations for this is funny. Wow, classical puppets, you have changed a lot. Okay, so I guess classical puppets does hoop skirts now and A line. They used to only do bell. Hair stock images have changed a lot. And their style has changed a lot. They used to do more browns. Um, you can find them on reseller sites too. I just thought it would be easier to find it on their website. But maybe I was wrong. Oh, those are really nice shoes. I'm taking a detour for a second. 39! Oh, I hate my life. Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, I'm not seeing their petticoats. Holy Elizabeth diamond dress. I love their Elizabeth dresses. They're so nice. Come on, where are your petticoats, guys? Do you not sell them anymore? Or is it this? These are A-line. These are definitely A-line. <laughs> um, so classical puppets used to be the petticoat that everyone suggested but their quality control has gone down in the last few years. So I would not re necessarily recommend them. Um, another one that can be really good, Wonder Welt has their own petticoat, which I've heard is really good and you can get it in three colors. It's not the biggest petticoat in the world. It's pretty small, really, um, but it would be good for wearing over a hoop skirt in the summer. And if you just wear stuff more casually, um, this would be nice. Um, but definitely uh, Bunny House and uh, Me Likes Tea are the two that I would recommend. Just because I really enjoy it. I had an email back and forth with the owner of Me Likes Tea at one point, and she's really sweet and nice. So I want to support her. <laughs> um, also, don't feel like you can't layer up on petticoats. I will. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. Um, don't feel bad if you have to wear multiple petticoats. Um, most people do wear more than one. It can just get really stressful on your waist if they're all different elastic. So like there are people that I know, I'm not even kidding. Um, I know people that stack like five Leg Avenue petticoats. <laughs> um, it's crazy to me, but they do it. I I wear one leg. I have two. No, I have three Leg Avenue petticoats and a Malco Modes. So Malco Modes used to be the petticoats that were recommended back in the early 2000s, back in the day before they were really like a thing. The problem with Malco Modes is that they are primarily A-line. They have not gotten into the bell shape market yet. Um, I heard rumors that somebody sent them a bell shaped petticoat so that they could manufacture one. Um, but they're square dancing petticoats. So they're primarily uh, rectangular in shape. Do they even have the one that I have anymore? Uh, maybe not. Maybe I have this one. No, this is not the one I have. I have a Malco Modes that I roll up the waistband. Um, I have a friend that has a Malco Modes that she safety pinned the top layer to the waistband so it's more bell shaped. So if you're if you're not interested in uh, spending a ton of money, 
But again, Me Likes Tea is really great. She hand makes everything. So I'd really like to support her. Because she's really great. She's so nice. She's so sweet. Petticoats can be a little intimidating at first. Um, just because you have to, you don't want to buy a new petticoat for every dress you have, because that's crazy. So um, I feel like probably a good standard wardrobe would be maybe three petties and a hoop skirt. Um, maybe a, a casual, like a just a light a lightweight bell i mean it's going to depend on what your wardrobe is pri is primarily made of but my ultimate goal is to get a casual cupcake from me likes tea to wear by itself and over hoop skirts um an a-line i need to double check because i might actually not have any a-line dresses anymore i may have sold all of my a-lines i may only have bells now um but an A-line wouldn't be bad to just have. And then a bigger one to wear by itself in the winter. Um, and I need, technically I actually need a longer one too because I have a couple long ones. So this one is basically a long bell. Um, so I need this for basically two dresses. <laughs> um, but it also, it's not as poofy, so. It, it doesn't have as many layers, but she has a poof rating down here um, that will tell you the amount of poof in each individual petticoat. So the Sarah petticoat has quite a bit of poof for its length, but like if you go up here to the casual cupcake, it's only rated for two out of five poof. So it's not as poofy, but that's really nice like in the summer if you don't want to wear a hoop skirt or if you wear Lolita regularly and you don't want to always be a fluff marshmallow monster. So, and it's good to wear over hoop skirts if you want to do that. Because the thing about hoop skirts that's important to note Uh, is that, okay, so this is a long hoop skirt, but the same thing applies. So because of the way a hoop skirt is constructed, if you don't wear anything on top of it, your dress is gonna like fall into the gaps or it's gonna like fold in and it's gonna have a weird shape. Um, and it's just gonna look weird and lumpy if you don't have something on top. So, um, Fan plus friend does this a little bit. Like you can see that they've got a little bit of fabric up at the top of it, but only just like a tiny, tiny amount. Um, if you go to the medium length one, so this is the one that most people have. They try to negate that a little bit by having a tiny bit of an overlay on it. But I know for, I can tell you from experience that this still makes your dress look lumpy. <laughs> which is why you need something thin to go over top of it. So a uh, bunny house medium, I think my friend actually has a medium A-line and not a medium bell, but because it's on top of this, it looks bell when she wears it. So that would be my advice. Especially if you live in Canada, um, I would just figure out what the majority of your wardrobe is and invest in a really nice petticoat or two. So like I said, a lot of people um, double up. So don't feel bad if you have to double up. Or triple up, or quadruple up, or everything up. Um, so yeah, uh, Bunny House has an Etsy. I think ordering through their Etsy is easier than ordering from their Facebook page. But I think you can also order from their Facebook page. Um, they're in Vietnam, which uh, Glitter Tail is also in Vietnam. I love them. Not Glitter Talent Agency, Glitter Tail. 
I love you, Google Auto Autofill. You're great. You're the best. All right, Glitter Tail. So Glitter Tail, I primarily order through Google Docs and hello, Glitter Tail. I talk to them a lot. It's a great time. Um, and their Google order forms. Um, but you can go to their photos. Oh, no, I don't want to post their photos. I'm going to go to their photos. I usually browse it on mobile, so I'm struggling a tad bit. So you want to see all of their photos. Nope, don't want that. I want all of their albums. So I'm kind of excited about this. Uh, this is my blouse. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> they made this for me. I love it. So this is, uh, they made this for me and I actually have it. It's on my rack behind me. But they sent me this document before they mailed it to me and I was like, yep, it's gorgeous. Love it, thank you. Um, so this is mine, actually. And I'm really happy that they posted it because it's so beautiful. And it has shares and only some of them are me. Um, but they do, they hand make everything too. They do custom orders. They have a bunch of underskirts. I don't think they do petties, but I really enjoy underskirts and they have a variety of blouses and they'll also design a new blouse for you if you want. So they're fun. I know the sleeves are like literally the best, but I, so I tried it on. This lace is, um, this lace is metallic. It has gold thread in it. And so it's kind of crunchy. So it's, it's kind of scratchy. Which is fine, when you have metallic lace, it does that. But eating in these sleeves is going to be awful. <laughs> and I'm wearing it to a tea party, so... <sighs> I'm not excited. <laughs> but I originally, I knew I wanted this blouse because I saw the pink version. I really want this too, I want this, I want it in pink too. But these sleeves are just like, mmm, amazing, I love them. So I really wanted it in brown. So I have it in brown and gold. But Glitter Tail is a really good place to get custom sized stuff for relatively inexpensive. Um, look, it says here, did it say? Yeah, so I paid 72 for the blouse and 15 for the neck bow, which for handmade custom sized stuff is not bad, um, honestly really like this blouse. I mean, I want it in like pink or mint or something because I think it's very lovely. I really like it. This it's like a, the sleeves are like a miniature version of the other blouse. So I love them. Um, so Glitter Tail is a really great place for custom sized stuff. Um, they started doing dresses now too. Um, they have custom print dresses now too. They don't have very many and like, so they have the fabric and then you request what you want the dress to look like. So you can have like a dress made out of any of the fabrics they have available, which is pretty nice. Um, but it definitely has a very handmade feel to it, which is not a bad thing in my opinion. Some people look down on handmade Lolita, but I think they're dumb. So it looks like this is all of the print stuff they have now. Is nice so yeah this company is located in vietnam they're really great love them oh my friend's puppy um any other so i've done petticoats and i started a little bit on i was on i was doing shoes for a while before anybody showed up <laughs> shoes are fun i primarily all my shoes are off brand and my purses, I have one brand purse, but my purses are primarily off-brand too because I tend to spend the most money on my dresses. There are some people on 4chan that'll give you a hard time for wearing Taobao blouses with brand dresses, but they're dumb because literally everyone does that.
it's royalty free stuff, but I'd rather listen to BTS. I love BTS. Bunny hop. Public pool? Oh, that's the name of the channel, not the people who made it. Hello, Gilgamesh. How are you? What can I do for you, big guy? Gilgamesh is my big orange cat. He's a big boy. Yes. You're so big. I love you. I know. Oh, yes. <gasps> You're a purr purr boy. Good job. Oh, man. Oh, I could do cotton candy feet because I haven't shown you cotton candy feet. Uh, cotton candy feet. Oh, it doesn't actually go to their website when you click on the banner. Boring. Okay. I don't go to cotton candy feet all the time. What are you talking about? Um, so cotton candy feet, you can do joint orders with me likes tea. So you don't have to pay for shipping from Brazil on two different things. Um, I love their bags, but they basically never have them in stock because they essentially make limited runs of them. So I just have, I'm never going to get the color that I want because they've never released it in mint again. They only did a mint pre-order when they initially introduced the them. Um, so their shoes are handmade, they're vegan, and they're made on demand, so they're sustainable products and don't have waste. They have a couple of different styles, so if I go to shoes. I'm really happy because they added low heel versions of some of their shoes because I can't, <laughs> I can't wear the high heeled versions. I have these. So I have the low heel charm ribbons in the mint color, which they don't have a mock-up, but these are, they, their color range isn't awesome, but they have all the basics. So they're nice and they're hand, they're really comfortable and they're handmade and they're super nice. So I have the mint ones because of course I do. And I like, I really want the hot pink ones just because I love that color. They have, um... I think it's their tea parties. They call them Lace, Lace Princess, but they're tea parties. Um, oh yeah, these are their hot pink ones. I am in love with these shoes. I don't know what I would wear them with because I don't own anything that's that color, <laughs> but I love them so much. They're so cute. Uh, but these are basically tea parties. They call them Lace Princess, but the st tea parties are you have the X and then the wrap around the ankle twice with the round toe and the bow. So that's what a tea party is. So this is this is the tea, their tea parties, basically. Um, and these come in their standard colors. They also have the glitter shoes. So they this is the low heel version. You can get these in, I think they've expanded the color range because I think you can get purple ones now. Yeah, because they've you've got purple ones here. Um, but I thought about replacing my high-heeled gold shoes with these, the low-heeled ones. Well, there's two different purples. They have a dark purple and a light purple. Nice, that's new. Um, with their like light gold color. So the champagne gold is frequently what they call it. Um, cause I don't like this really yellow gold. I prefer the champagne gold. So I thought about getting these to replace my high heeled ones that I don't wear very often because they hurt my feet. And I also, they, this is the place that has the holographic, the holographic tea parties. I love them too. <laughs> I want them in gold and in silver, but they're so expensive. And you can get them in glitter. Oh, they probably just don't have a color chart for the holographic. Because I think you can only... Yeah, you can get them in silver and gold. But they're so expensive. But I love them. They're amazing. They, make, they give me joy. 
And then the shiny unicorn queen, these are glitter patent leather, or I guess vegan patent leather. So they have a smaller color range. Um, again, I really like the hot pink ones because I'm crazy and like hot pink. <laughs> I don't have a hot pink one up anymore. But yeah, so they have lots of nice shoes and they're really high quality and they're really comfortable. Um, I love mine. Uh, so I highly recommend. They're very, very, they feel very well made and very high end. Uh, I should not check my Facebook on stream. Cause that's private. So I'll come over here to my other window. Okay, just post on my VIP kid stuff. Oh, we must have reached the end of my royalty free playlist. Well, if I get copyrighted. Hawaii Future Base Collection. It's not like I make money on my streams. So it's not a big deal. I just feel I just feel like it would be awkward to be in silence. Um, so reseller sites are nice. Um, I said this earlier when no one was here. I will um, I will browse reseller sites and then find the shops on Taobao because it's cheaper. Um. Taobao's not really that scary once you get used to it. I was really terrified of it when I first started using it, but it's really not that bad. That B looks like an eight. It's definitely a B. I'm also, I'm also really into fan plus friend right now. Um, I'm especially really into their new one for 2019. Do they have it listed here? Do I have to? This one. I love this collection. I want everything. I want everything. <laughs> I love this collection. It's so beautiful. This dress is like fantastic. I want it in the mint, of course, because I I'm easy and basic, but it's so pretty. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> I'm in love. The ivory's nice too, but mint. Ah, God, I just love it so much. I love everything in this collection, to be fair. Um, my friend Juliet and I are already thinking about parody. So next year, because we're crazy, um, and I'm going to get this dress for our uh, the thing that we're doing together. So I'm going to need a longer petty for it because it is long. But it's also lovely. <laughs> Look at all those layers. It's so pretty. <laughs> I love Fan Post Friend. I think that they make some really beautiful stuff. And it's really unique too. Like they definitely have an artistic, like they definitely are very artistic with their designs. Sometimes a little bit too much, but 
I really love this dress. It's just so beautiful. So I'm getting this one for sure for next year. And I really want to splurge and get this one too. I don't know. I'll have to figure out what I'm doing at the time, but I really love this one too. It's basically like fairy princess. It's the best. It's so pretty. <laughs> so good. The stock images kind of make it look weird when there's in the, the stock images that aren't worn, but like that makes it, I think it's just the lighting. Cause in this, it looks totally fine. It doesn't look quite as yellow. So I think it's a lighting thing, but like the white one has that problem too. So I really like this dress. Like, okay, so this skirt, um, I would hack this ribbon off the front. Like that would be the first thing I would do. <laughs> Cause I don't like that ribbon. I think it's awful. <laughs> this is meant to be an underskirt. So you're not, I mean, you can make it work as like a skirt by itself. Um, but of course I think they put the bodice on top of it. Yeah, they put the, they put the corset thing. It's not really a corset cause it's not steel boned and structured the right way, but it's like a, a stylist, a stylized bodice thing. Yeah, Fan Press Brand has some really nice stuff. Especially, um, they also do custom sizing. So like, if you come here to this dress, Lady 90 is the biggest size you can get. And then you can get custom size and that's anything under 100 centimeters for your dimensions. But if you come down here, even their Lady 90 is bigger than most brand stuff. So like they go up to 107 in the bust and they go up to 87 in the waist. So that's not bad. Um, it's 45 extra dollars if you go up to 100 centimeters. Is that what that say? Yeah, $45 if you need to have custom sized above 100, but that's not really that much in the grand scheme of things because this dress is only $122, which sounds like a lot until you realize how expensive brand dresses are. Like a brand dress would be like $250, $300. And this one is custom sized to your measurements. So I think that extra bit is worth it personally. Um, they just released this one. I'm in love with this yellow. I don't know why, but I love it. It's not generally what I would gravitate towards, but I just really love this yellow. It's so pretty. Oh, the stream died. YouTube is not receiving enough video. What does that even mean? Yeah, I really love this yellow one. Like a lot. So pretty. Anyway. Fan Plus Friend does some really fun stuff. So, highly recommend. Oh yeah, and this Steam Dragon boat dress that they just released is also really pretty. The back of it, so if you go to the mint one. Oh, this is for, this is for the head bow, not for the dress. This is for the dress. The back has like this butterfly bow on it. I just love it. I just really like Fan Plus Friend. I think they have lots of, they do lots of really fun cuts for their designs. Like most of the brands, they do like fun prints, but 
Fan plus friend does lots of fun cuts with their dresses. Like they do really different design choices in terms of the construction. So I really like them. Hey, okay, fan plus friends good. Um, they have a Taobao shop, but I've actually found it's easier to shop on their English language website than it is to shop on their Taobao. For some reason, the items listed on their Taobao don't always match the items on their English speaking shop. Um, like you could buy this bodice thing on their English speaking shop way before you could get it on their Taobao. I don't know why they do that, but yeah, they're good. They're great. Love them. This is fun. It's really generic too, so I don't think it'll copyright. I don't think it'll copyright ID or whatever. <sighs> I'm having a, an easier week than normal with teaching because it's um, it's a Chinese holiday, so my bookings are fairly low right now, actually, which is a little disappointing. Yeah, I don't, I don't have to go to bed for another couple of hours. Normally I go to bed like pretty early, but I don't have a class till five. Yeah, my classes are really low this week. <laughs> I'm hoping they go back up after the holiday's over. It just means that I know for the future I have to plan around um, Chinese holidays. I'm gonna put on some of my cuticle oil. I use the cuticle oil recipe from Simply Nail Logical. I accidentally spilled like 80% of my bottle all over my desk, so I'm a little mad about that, but it's been nice. I've had, I've been going through a lot of stuff like mental health wise lately. I've really been kind of struggling. Um, so I've been picking at my fingers a lot. So I've had a lot worse, like I've had way more hangnails and like hanging skin than I normally do and a lot more sore spots and pain. So I've been trying to not pick at my nails as much and hydrate them more. So nail oil can recommend. It's just jojoba oil and vitamin E gel. It's cheap. And it's been helping moisturize the cuticles and the skin on my hands just in general but yeah my anxiety and my depression i just it just makes me pick at my loose skin around my fingers it always has and uh so then i just get open sores and it's just painful it's not fun Mental health is annoying, man. Like you do weird stuff when you're depressed that like you wouldn't normally do. Or like you're able to logic certain behavior away. Like it's totally fine that I lay in bed all day and watch YouTube and do nothing. Like that's fine, I don't feel good. So that's what I'm gonna do. But then you do that like three days in a row. <laughs> and it's a problem. It doesn't help. So my therapist, it's sad. I had my last session with my therapist on Tuesday. because She has to move back to Utah to take care of her sick mom. And it happened suddenly. And we both feel bad about it. But, you know, like, I can't be upset. Like, I mean, of course she's got to take care of her mom. It's just I finally had started opening up and making progress. And now I have to start all over with a new therapist. So that'll be fun. Um, where are my pills? They're 
normally right here on my desk because I was going to take them. But they got knocked on the floor. Vivian gets up on my desk when she knows she's not supposed to. She usually does it when I'm not looking. So frequently things get knocked off my desk and I didn't realize they get knocked off because she moved them. I don't... There they are. Found them. Started taking my pills at night because they supposedly are making me drowsy because it's been harder to function when I take them in the morning. But my old meds used to make me peppy in the morning, so I just didn't stop taking them at a regular time. Ah. All right. What else do I want to look at? What things that I can't buy do I want to look at? <laughs> Trying to think how to be useful. Oh, so I was eventually going to make an actual pre-recorded video about this, but um, Meta is doing, so for those of you who don't know, Meta is short for Metamorphose. Metamorphose attempts to fillet, but they pretty much never, and I know I'm saying it wrong. Oh, this is Rakuten. <laughs> I wanted their actual website. Because <laughs> I go to Meta all the time. Uh, Metamorphose attempts to fillet English. So Meta is doing a limited plus size run of some of their most popular dresses. God, I love it. I love Meta. Not gonna lie, I really love Meta. Um, so they're doing a plus size run of some of their most popular dresses. Do they have a press release about it? I may have to go to Paradiso's page to see it. Black Swan. Um, so they're doing a plus size, like, test run of some of their more popular dresses. I have a friend that modeled this dress at the NakaCon tea party. Because they're awesome. Uh, Misako Aoki. This is all newer stuff. I want to see if I can find the press release without having to go back to Facebook. Hmm. Okay, well, I know where I can find it. Uh, annoying. How annoying. Fine. I'll just go to regular old Facebook. 
There are so many things that are like Paradiso. Paradiso Decadence. Come on, Facebook. Hey, Paradiso, I already know you. I know a lot of their people. All right, uh, photos. Doo -doo. Okay, here it is. So they are doing a limited plus size pre-order run for Daydream and Gold Twist specifically, but they have a couple other dresses that they are going to be trying out. What dress is she wearing? Oh, okay. Um, they have a couple other dresses they're going to be trying out too. But the bust on these is going to go up to 130, which is crazy. They're also a little longer, which I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like they, I mean the model, oh, there's Juliet. Hi, Juliet. Um, the models that are wearing them kind of look like they're swimming in them, but they're also much too big for them. So, are there comments? No, there's a comments on this one. Because in one of the comment threads, it actually listed the measurements for them. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so fun. If you're going, vote for Juliet. <laughs> Prince Julian. Jaden. Prince Jaden. Why did I call you Julian? I'm sorry. Jaden. Prince Jaden. It's gonna be huge this year. I it's kind of crazy to me how big it's gonna be. Cause last year it was like a little bigger, but just it's gonna be huge. Here we go. Okay, so this is, so the original Daydreaming Goldfish already had really good sizing. Um, so the bust is listed at 87, but with the stretchy back, it can stretch another 35 centimeters, which puts it at about 120. So it was already pretty plus size friendly. Um, but they're taking into account that when you're plus size, you fill out more of the bodice. And so it pulls the skirt line up. So by making the plus size one longer, it should help negate that problem. Um, so the bust on this one is going to start at 103 and stretch up to 50 centimeters more, which puts it like at one... 53. So that's crazy. That's crazy big. Um, and the waist is 87. It doesn't say how much, if it's the same. The skirt is also 10 centimeters longer. So that's nice. They're going to be trying out some other dresses, it looks like. Um, cause these are some other dresses, but it, there's no official, yeah, Easter party. So this was something that they did in Hong Kong. Um, but they're having a special for specifically daydreaming goldfish at Paradiso. So my plan is to get the pink one. <laughs> I really want the pink one. Um... I, well, my favorite one is the purple one, but they don't have the purple one. I also really like the navy red one, but I feel like the pink one would be more cohesive in my wardrobe. So. Oh, Avalon, I'm so excited. I don't see, I only see Avalon once a year. All my Paradiso friends, I basically see once a year. There's my friend Amanda. She's so cute. Aww. Prince Jaden has come to represent the Dolce Kingdom. Being the younger sibling, they have a lot to prove to show they can be the number one prince. 
Aw, that's because I'm the older sibling. <laughs> oh, I hadn't read her description that she'd written yet. Oh my god, I'm so excited. It's going to be so fun. The drive is going to be awful. The drive is always awful. Oh, there's Gabby and Amanda. Oh my god, I almost called you Amanda. I'm sorry. This is Marilyn. This is, this is Gabby. So excited. I'm gonna have even less money. Like, I'm, I'm still not gonna be able to basically buy almost anything. <laughs> it's fine though, it's fine. Oh, there's Jerrica. I'm not gonna get to see Jerrica this year. I'm a little disappointed. She's not going this year. I don't, I have chocolate rosette, but I don't have it in this green. I have it in mint. I have the special set in mint because of course I do. Oh, Margo! I'm so excited. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna be turning 30. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I'm not VIP this year. I'm a little sad because we did karaoke for my birthday last year. And I think I'm not gonna say that they took the idea from me. Uh, but I didn't get a VIP ticket this year because I was too worried about not getting a ticket. So I just let uh, Juliet buy me a ticket. Look at all this cute stuff. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so fun. I love going down there. I'm really happy. So I'm moving back to Iowa in June and I was not as far away from Kansas City. So I'll be able to go down there more to see my friends that live down there and going to Paradiso won't be such a trek. Cause right now as it stands, it's like an 11 hour drive, but I'm cutting seven hours of that off when I move home. It's only gonna be like a four hour drive, which is still like four hours, but significantly shorter than 11. Tyler, oh, I'm so excited. I'm such a dork. That's the truth. Oh, that reminds me, I need to cancel our hotel because we got an Airbnb. Oh, man. I'm so excited. If you get a chance to go to Paradiso some year, go. It's really fun. Everybody's so nice. Kristen is beautiful and wonderful. There's Amanda again, being darling. It's a good time. Everyone's really nice. It's a good time. Highly recommend. It's a very inclusive event. As long as you actually wear Lolita. Anyway. It's gonna be a good time. I'm excited. Hello, Vivian. Do not get on my desk. We've had, we have this conversation every day. You're not supposed to be on my desk. I know you want to be, but you're not supposed to. Meow. I know. Mommy's so mean. So I'm excited to try out Meta's plus size dress. Um, I may have it if I do get my breast reduction eventually, which is a whole chunk of drama going on right now. I may have to get it altered, but... Because when the really tiny models wear it, they're swimming in it. But I don't know how I would feel about it. We're coming up at almost two hours, which isn't bad. 
Though, of course, only like three people watched today, which is fine. I didn't post anything about it. So Alice Girl is a tabo shop that a friend recommended. They have dresses that are really, really bust friendly. Um, they operate on like a pre-order basis though. So basically you pay half of the dress up front um, and it's hard to read the instructions because it's all in Chinese. Um, so basically, and the translation's usually pretty bad. So you have to pay the first half of the dress by a certain date to reserve your spot. And then they make them. And then before they ship them out to you, you have to pay the second part of the reservation. I've done a reservation before, but there are some Taobao brands that operate only on reservation. Here we go. So starting on April 28th, ending on June 22nd, you have to pay it. Oh, no, no, no. So it ends on April 28th and you have to pay the second half by June 22nd before they'll ship out the dresses. So the full amount is 188. So you could pay 188 or if you want, you could pay the 48 deposit. And then the final payment is 148. So Alice Girl operates usually on that, but let's see if I can find their size chart because their size chart is very, here we go. So the bust goes up to 102. They have dresses that go higher than that. Um, and the waist is 102. Having a high waist, a waist that, that goes that big is pretty rare, but this is also a high cut dress. So that makes sense. Oops, here we go. Cause like, I really love these two dresses like a lot. Like I really like Q, Key, Key. I really like Key and Wa Lolita. It's really easy to do badly, but. I really like them nonetheless. So Alice Girl is a really good tabo shop for plus size stuff, um, but it's a little harder to navigate because they do reservation things, but a lot of them you can do reservations through like a reseller shop. There's also a shopping service that I follow on Facebook called Loki Doki. Loki doki doki. So they're a Taobao reseller. They frequently will post when something is up for pre-order. So um, if like you see something on there that you like, they'll usually reserve it for you so you don't have to navigate the Taobao page, which is nice. But they'll like post when something comes up for pre-order. So it's like, uh, Yeah, pre-order now up. So you they'll let you know when you can pre-order and stuff and they'll answer uh, answer questions for you. So they're a nice resource to have too if you wanna buy stuff off of Taobao. But Alice Girl, they do stuff for Alice Girl. So highly recommend for sure. Um, yeah, this is my personal Facebook. Don't hack me. I'm on Etsy a lot just for fun. <laughs> I like looking at stuff that people make. I find it really interesting. Oh, this is new. I haven't seen this before. Not a huge fan of the fabric, but that's because I really like mint. I just really like mint in all of its forms regardless of the shade, it's kind of my thing. I really like this thing too. I meant to ask them if they can make make this in mint because I would have it. <laughs> Though a brown one would be nice too. Anyway, I'm down to the one ghost mysterious watcher that YouTube always says I have. So probably gonna cut it here. I know I say all the time that I'm going to do some pre-recorded videos and I haven't yet. Um, but like I said, I've been working through some stuff emotionally. Uh, I'm moving in June, so that's kind of stressful. So hopefully I'll have ideas and feel motivated. So uh, thank you for the couple of people that came and hung out. So um 
I still haven't finished Alice. I haven't decided if I'm gonna finish it. Um, I'll think about it. So we'll see. Anyway, uh, it was fun. I'm gonna end the stream now. So thanks for hanging out. If you think of any other items that you'd like me to browse in the future, give advice on or do some research for you with you, uh, leave a comment or visit me at my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I have Discord down in the description now too. So all that should be there. Um, yeah, I'm available almost all the time. I pretty much have my phone on me. Uh, I only work in the morning, so I'm pretty free most of the afternoon in America times. So I would love to hear from people. It'd be great. Anyway, uh, have a good evening and I hope to see you guys again soon.